But let's talk now to a former deputy postmistress who's hoping to kick Sir Ed Davey out of his London seat at the next election, as he's refused to apologise for his role in the post office scandal when he served as Minister for Postal Affairs during the coalition government. Parliamentary candidate for the Kingston Independent Residence Group and former deputy postmistress Yvonne Tracy joins me now. And Yvonne, great to see you on the Independent Republican, Mike Graham. So happy that you could join us tonight. I'm going to wish you all the best of luck because I'm hoping that the good people uh, of your constituency will see why Sir Red Davey needs to be kicked out um, because he has, he has refused to apologise and he's of no use, really, to man or beast. What made you decide to run? <laughs> Oh, thank you for having me on your show. Yes. Um, well, really, I think like everybody else who saw that program, Bates versus the post office, um, I was angry. Um, and I just thought, my goodness, how can I help these poor people? Um, so I just thought, you know, Ed Davey is my MP. I've lived in New Morden all my life. Uh, I'll stand against him. I'll be a voice for the postmaster. So I'm standing on the ticket of... Uh, Yvonne Tracy, independent um, candidate for justice for the sub-postmasters and sub-postmistresses. Yeah. And it's going to be a brilliant campaign, isn't it? Because, I mean, everyone's going to support you. Ed Davey, and I know it's probably... Some people would say unfair to blame him for everything that went wrong, but he certainly should have at least been a little bit more, you know, shall we say, questioning of what was going on around him. For him to come out and say, well, they all lied to me, so what was I supposed to do? Well, you're supposed to have a bit of, you know, gumption and presumably a little bit of a critical eye on these things. And he should have asked more questions, shouldn't he? Oh, absolutely. That's it. Of course, it's not just him. My goodness, loads of people have got... Fujitsu should answer, the post office should answer. But by the time Mr Bates had collected years of um, documentation and got names of hundreds of postmasters. And when he went to Mr Davey, when Mr Davey was the postal minister in 2010, there was so much um, information and um, evidence. And so you're right, Mr Davey should have thought, hold on, we haven't suddenly got hundreds and hundreds of postmasters stealing thousands and thousands of pounds. Um, I've got to look into this and be robust with my questioning. So this is the thing. Um, what did he ask? What was he told that made him think, no, actually, these hundreds and hundreds of people are stealing. Yeah, exactly right. And, I mean, he's had plenty of opportunities to say sorry, which he still hasn't actually done. You know, he's quite a pompous individual, it seems to me. So um, are you hoping to um, sort of come up against him in, in some kind of debating scenario? Would you like to do that? <laughs> I don't know, because uh, I'll be absolutely honest with you. I'm not a politician. I'm just a 68-year-old grandmother who wants to help these poor people. <laughs> and Mr Davey can be... Well, he is a seasoned politician. Uh, he knows all the things to say, bless him. Uh, so, I don't know. I don't know. Um, I wouldn't shy away from it yeah. if it happened. But I wouldn't relish it, I'll be honest, because, you know, the Liberals... I'm a little bit unkind, I think, sometimes. Well, with I was gonna, yeah, I was going to ask you about that because I see from your social media account on, on Twitter that the Lib Dems have been sort of trying to destabilise you and some of the local kind of, um, shall we say, campaigners around you are not very happy with you from the Lib Dems, are they? No. Uh, as the day I announced it, well, I think it was the day or the next day, I'm not quite sure, uh, yes, two, two Liberal Democrats decided they put up lies about me online total lies, uh, saying that I've been investigated for racial hatred crimes. I oh. mean, do you know, I've never even had a parking ticket, let alone been investigated for any sort of crime. So, so I was shocked. I said, are they allowed to tell these lies? Oh. Apparently they are, unless I go to a lawyer and um, start legal proceedings, which I have done today. Right. Uh, I, I'm... Um, going after them for defamation uh, of my character and I'm asking for damages. And when I get the damages, I will be giving the damages to the Postmasters Horizon Fund. But isn't it a shame mm. that this is the way I've got to go because to shut me up, the little person, they're telling lies and bullying about yeah. me. And let's be honest, this is how we're in this mess in the first place because the little person had lies told about them and were bullied, and now they're doing exactly the same to me. I, I'm amazed it's allowed, but I say that apparently the only way is for me to go down the legal route, which yes. is what well, I have done 
Well, well I'm glad you've, you've, you've done that because this is, this is like sort of the sealed smear campaign tactic, isn't it, where politicians put stories out there, usually about each other, but in this case it's more despicable because you're uh, an ordinary, as you say, grandmother running for office. You're a councillor already at the moment. How have the, how have the local council um, sort of treated you since you decided to run as an MP? Well, what the two people who have tweeted online, one of them is one of my local councillors, uh, John Sweeney, a Liberal councillor. He was one of the ones who put the tweet, so that tells you something. Huh. Um, and the other lady, uh, Hina Bakara, is a Liberal London Assembly member, but apparently she's got form for doing this sort of thing. So, huh. but um, it's sad, isn't it, when they the they think I know, let's bully this lady into yeah. going away because. It is uncomfortable. It is horrible. Uh, and I say that's how we got in this place. Mm. This is how we got in this state, by bullying and lies. So I'm not going to go away. Yes. And you were a postmistress for 20-odd years. Um, did you have any kind of bad experiences with the Horizon lots and, 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 with, um, and with the prosecutions and all of that? No, I knew about... Um, I knew about the prosecutions and different sub-postmasters having trouble, but I worked for the branch office in New Morden, which is slightly different. It still had the horizon system, mm. but it was you worked for the post office rather than yourself, and the problems did seem to be with the sub-postmasters, I think, because it was just slightly different. At, yeah. um, when you declared your cash once a week on a Wednesday, it was done slightly differently. So I could only think maybe that was where the problem was somewhere mm. along the line, although not that we've been told. But the so, no, the branch offices didn't seem to have the problems with the Horizon system. No, they didn't. But it's interesting, isn't it? I mean, you must have wondered at the time, because I think a lot of us did at some points or other, came across the story. I mean, I probably five or six years ago saw um, a story about it and did something on the radio about it way back when. But nobody, I think, quite gathered how big the problem was or how huge uh, the numbers of people were who were affected and, and wrongly accused. No, oh, of course I knew that in the post office there was, you know, stories going around, you know, how come all these sub-postmasters are suddenly stealing? Um, but I think we, uh, watching that programme, I was shocked at the scale of the people whose, whose lives and livelihoods have been affected. So, yeah, that, that's what made me think, I've got to help these people. Because yeah. what I don't want, at the moment everybody's crossed because they've seen that programme, but people forget, and I don't want this to go away because the postmasters haven't had justice, they haven't had answers. In most cases, they haven't had any compensation. Mm. I think about 11 people have been paid out. So I want to keep this in the public eye um, until these poor people get the answers, mm. get the justice, and get people held to account. And maybe a few people saying, do you know, I'm sorry. Yeah, I think so. And some people also think, and I don't know whether you're one of them, uh, Yvonne, that some of the kind of officials involved, certainly some of the uh, post office employees and management in the post office, you know, might face the odd uh, charge as well, because some of what they did was deliberate. It wasn't just negligence. They deliberately um, smeared people. They deliberately told lies about people. They were incentivised, weren't they, uh, with bonuses to actually get as many people convicted as possible. Yes, and even after they knew there were problems, and I think they knew there were problems years and years ago, um, certainly by the time Mr Davey was the um, uh, post office minister, mm. um, and yet they were still carrying on prosecuting people. So you're right, these people must be prosecuted themselves, surely. Yeah. This wasn't mistakes, this was maliciously prosecuting people when they knew there was a problem with the Horizon system. Exactly right. And if you were able to send a message today or tonight to Ed Davey, what would it be? Do the right thing, Mr Davey. You've stood up and asked for enough people to do the right thing before now. 30-odd people, I think, he's asked. Mm. Now, you do the right thing. Stand down. You, you, you didn't help these people when they asked you for help. You weren't robust. Stand down. I think that's a very clear message. Well, I'm going to wish you lots of luck, Yvonne, and um, I'm hopeful we'll talk to you again between now and whenever the election is. So um, um, if anybody wants to find you uh, online or anything like that, should we tell them to, to look out for your Twitter account? Absolutely.
Councillor Yvonne Tracy, and it's Yvonne at Yvonne New Malden. Yvonne, great to talk to you. Good luck, and we'll talk to you again Thank soon. You. Well done. Um, I think the Independent Republican Mike Graham, as I've said before, uh, we don't endorse parties, we don't endorse um, ideas necessarily, but we will certainly endorse occasional uh, contestants, and I think we should endorse Yvonne there, a former Deputy Postmistress of New Malden Post Office. You're